All right, welcome back. Today I'm coming at you with a specialized type of cleaning method today. We have a customer that has been dealing with a lot of graffiti. Um, some of it's paint, some of it's felt tip. And we're looking at graffiti that's on different surfaces. Some of the surfaces he has, the person that came and did the graffiti, that surface is painted. Some of it's bare brick. We're using a couple different chemicals here when we do this. So this is a bare brick and stone masonry graffiti remover. This is a felt tip. So sometimes we're gonna have to go back and forth. If this didn't get it, we're gonna put this, if it's a felt tip on this type of surface. And the same thing on this side is a specialized chemical. And this is made for sensitive surfaces. So a surface that may be painted, um, street signs, um, anything that maybe it's aluminum. And if we put something really harsh like this bare brick masonry, which could really harm it. So if we're looking at something possibly, this is for your sidewalks, your brick walls, anything like that, that someone just can put spray paint on. Now we're going to be using a pressure washer for this cleaning process which is what's recommended. From what the directions are saying on these products, you don't have to use that. You could really flood it, but it is gonna be a process. So let's talk about the process with this. Um, you'll notice that I have specialized little containers. These are simple, just little paint buckets I got from the hardware store where they're mixing paint. For us, these chemicals are not dilution. So this is straight from the bottle to these containers. These are brushes we're gonna use. These brushes are made for this purpose, yeah, they're regular paint brushes. So what are you gonna use? I'm looking at something that is purely synthetic. I don't want a natural fiber because these chemicals are strong and they're gonna eat through that fiber. So these are polyester brushes, really cheap. I think they're $4 a piece. So I'm gonna use one for each one. Don't wanna contaminate them. And then I have another one here that I'm gonna use for my felt tip. And same thing for this, they're not dilution control. So next we're gonna show how to use these on site on the actual damaged surfaces. And again, the surfaces that we have, we have one area that's bare brick and we have a few areas that are either like an aluminum or that have a painted surface that we don't wanna take that paint off, but we do wanna remove the graffiti. Um, these are detailed processes. Uh, you have to lay them from what the directions are saying a series of three times. So you're laying it letting it sit for three minutes, putting some more on it, letting it sit for three minutes, putting one more coat on it, let it sit for three minutes, and then we're gonna pressure wash it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work on is we're gonna work on this bare brick. So you'll see from the video, um, someone has come over here and what looks like they put probably felt tip marker or something like that on this. Uh, this is bare brick. So as you see the brown chemical that we're dealing with, this is the stronger of the two. If I use this on a painted surface, it's not gonna take, the graffiti off, it's more likely gonna take the paint off too. So first things first, reading the directions is always a good idea even if you've used it before. So with this, of course, it says shake, shake well first. And then I'm gonna flood the surface three times. So letting it sit with a three minute interval between. Okay, so let's, let's get that first. We're gonna let this sit for three minutes. And what I'll actually do is there's another area that we have here. I'm gonna agitate it a little bit. It's already, if you can see it, it's already kind of coming off. Um, you can see it removing already as I use the brush to agitate. But typically it does take a couple times. This one we've actually attempted to get it off before in the past without using a chemical. We're just using a pressure washer and a high pressure tip. So as you can see, it kind of made streaking here, which I really don't like. Chemical is always a better idea than using just straight pressure. So this is coat number two. Um, we've let it dwell for the first coat and agitated it for three minutes. This is the second coat. So more than likely what we're gonna do is go do another coat over there, come back and we'll pressure wash this after we put a cut in that, the third coat. So let's go look at that side. This one here is a little bit different. We, I've got one area that looks like it doesn't really wanna give up. But we're gonna lay the second coat on this one, wait our three minutes, and then we will move on to the next type of surface. We'll typically do this at night. Today we're doing it in the daytime just so we can do some filming. 
So what you do have to worry about is people coming in and out. So of course, we'll have wet floor signs, things like that, so people don't fall. Um, but this is an area that's been kind of picky with this customer. They get a lot of tagging. So it's an area we need to come out and handle it quickly. So let's move on to the other side. Let's see how that did. So this one with it wet, you can kind of still see a little bit. So what we'll do is come back and put some uh, felt tip remover on it, which is a different chemical. It's a smaller of the bottles, a little black bottle, and that will take care of all this. So we'll go ahead and do that, lay it sit, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and that usually wipes it right off. But you have to use the other product first before you can put the other product on it. So if you kind of see here on this one, we have some shadowing still where you can kind of see where it's at. So this was a felt tip pen, so they probably were pushing really hard. So for that kind of stuff, for the shadow, we'll use this felt tip or felt pen fade out. So this is like a gel consistency where the other one was more of a, a liquid. So this is diff way different consistency. And we want this to go away, right? So again, if you can see, this is pretty time consuming. So if you're bidding on this with a cuss for a customer, you know, keep that in mind that, you know, this isn't something that's, hey, let me spray it on real quick and it's gonna be good. We're gonna be out of here and I'll charge you 50 bucks or whatever you wanna charge. But this is something that's much more difficult. And again, we're gonna put it on, let it sit. And the results with this, like they're saying, it may be overnight. Now we're just wanting this, the shadow to fade away because that's what we're dealing with now. Like the ink is gone, but the shadow's still there. I'm gonna agitate it up so you can see it go away. And if you notice, I'm using a different bucket for each chemical and a different brush for each chemical. So we'll let this sit. This area here, as you see someone is tagged here, probably felt tip marker, maybe just regular paint it looks like. But this is a painted surface. And the last thing I want is remove all the paint and have to come back and repaint this pole. That probably costs a customer a couple hundred bucks to repaint a pole. So what we're gonna try to do is, we're gonna use our sensitive surface graffiti remover. So this is for painted surfaces or, you know, surfaces you really don't wanna mess with. So if it's just a bare aluminum, don't wanna get too harsh with it. So same thing, same theory. Again, shake it, make sure it's mixed well. Pour it into our little secondary bucket. So again, this, and you can see it's gonna be a little bit harder because it is, you know, a vertical surface where we had a, you know, the horizontal surface before where it's sitting on it. So now let's do the same thing, a little theory with the finger test, right? sensitive surface, I'm trying to scrub it off. So I'm basically trying to write with it, as you see here. A little bit different, right? So as I scrub with it, you can see it actually work. The benefits with this are, you can kind of see that instant gratification, right? That, hey, wow, it's working. It's not gonna take the paint off. We will fire up the pressure washer and get the residue off. And again, these are just microfiber towels. Um, nothing special, no special type of, you know, towel situation. So I'll dip my towel a little bit, get the, the residue. And a lot of people probably think, oh, that's just paint thinner. It's actually not. It's not gonna thin this paint. It's just pulling off that surface of the ink that someone came and put on here. So we're gonna do the same thing here as we did over there. And you can watch this felt tip just come right off. So, and it also cleans the pole for you. As you can see, we got that felt tip or paint off of the, the brick, so the non-painted surface. And we also got the graffiti off of the sensitive surfaces. So this is a painted surfaces and you saw the pole. They're very effective. A lot of times a company will come out and be like, sorry, we pressure washed it, won't come off, you need to paint. So 
a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of education, and you can make a lot of money doing this. Um, as you can see, customer will be very happy. Come out and see that it's all gone. All right. Thank you for watching. See you next time.